A viewer asked how I would make reins using baling twine. So how I'm going to do them is I'm going to start with a bolt snap clasp. And I'm going to use a lanyard stitch or a four, stri four strand braid. And I'm going to talk about it in relationship to north, south, east, and west orientation. First, I'm going to thread two pieces of twine through the pivoting end of the clasp. And then I'm going to pull the ends, pull it through the clasp so that all four of the ends are even. And then how the braid will work is that each end of a piece of the twine goes in all four directions. So the orange strand will always run north and, north, north and south, and the blue strand will always run east and west. So to start it, I'm going to loop the orange strand in separate directions. And then the east strand, the strands are all, the east and west strands are always going to run over and under and they'll run. So this one will go over the end of this one and it's always going to go through the loop. So then this one will go over the loose end and through the loop. And then for this first piece, just try to keep everybody in alignment and pull them tight. So this will make a square. It's gonna pretty much be a square kind of stitch like that. And then this is what you will just keep doing through the whole length of the twine. Okay. So again, we are looping the orange pieces So that you have your circle basically and pay attention to whether the east and west pieces are the top or the bottom so this bottom one and they're going to go through the loop so to get through the loop this bottom one has to go over and then through And then same for the top one. I want to go through this loop so it goes over and then through. And then keep your pieces lined up and pull everything tight. The first few uh, stitches are the most challenging to work with, but once you get everything going, everything lines up a little better. Okay, so it's always going to be a box, a square. That is the stitch we will be using the whole way through the project. I'm going to add twine, a piece of blue twine, a little sooner than I need to because there's still a bit of length left to the blue pieces, but I want to stagger the addition of the twine so I'm not adding both the orange and the blue at the same time. I'm choosing to work without the knots for this project 
and using shorter pieces of twine. So I'm just going to cut the knot out. Then I'm going to make the loops with the orange, the north-south loops. And I'm going to thread the new piece of blue through the loop, both loops, so that it will just stretch across and I'll find my center point by pulling both of the ends together and then just lay it down alongside the blue that I have been working with. Then when I pull it through, I'm going to pull both pieces through. So for this bottom thread, over and under, keeping your pieces lined up, and then the top one over. And through. Okay, so then pull tight like you were doing for all the other ones. But this one will be a little bigger because we have more pieces that we're working with. thicker and work a little harder to pull everything tighter. Okay, now to add the orange piece or the north-south piece, I'm going to still make my loops. Then I'm going to Find the center of the new piece of strand and place that in the center of my work so that it's running across the pieces. Okay, so both of these pieces are going to go over this new piece but they're still going to go through the old piece. So, over and through. Pull everybody tight. When adding a new piece of, of twine, work the pieces together for several rows before you go back to just using your long piece and just using the four strands to make the square. That way it will secure the new pieces with the old pieces. And then after a little, after a few rows, give the rein a good tug and then just trim the short piece is off right next to the right next to your work.
Okay, I've finished my lanyard stitch rein and I need to tie it off. Um, you could tie it off by weaving these strands down through the sides of the rein. But what I'm going to do is just tie it off with a knot right at the top. Make sure you get all the strands through your knot. And all the loose pieces as well. And then just pull it as tight as you can and give each individual strand a good tug. All right, that should do it. And then I'm just gonna trim off these loose ends close to the knot. So this, the lanyard slip stitch um, gives the rein some stretch to it, but it is really tight even at the places where I added more twine. You can pull and it's not going to come apart. All right, thank you for this challenge and have fun. Thank you.